I'm just getting some video of it. It initially started off to no stunt wall as a C pillar to keep the back seats, but we decided yeah. to add the stunt wall and we moved the box forward and tried to make it as efficient as possible. Yeah, well, it's so efficient. We did, it for, yeah. we did it for efficiency, not for not for SPL or musical. Kind yes, of the sir. best of both worlds. Yes, sir. It turned out really, really nice. Sounds good too, and it's musical. Yeah, very cool. musical. What subs are these and what are they rated at? Uh, they're ZL Audio subs. There's only six of these in existence. Uh, they were built by a buddy of mine and they're rated for 1,000 to 1,200 RMS per sub. So okay. you've got the only six? Only six. Fuck yeah. What you about hand? You know what you mean you're at? Never put it, we finished it yesterday at three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, really? Literally just finished it yesterday. <laughs> what is it wired to? Uh, half. Half ohm? Yep. Okay. That's nuts. Crazy. So you just built them from scratch. Like yep. That? And there's two. These are right. Two SPLX 3Ks strapped. Yes, sir. Eight AGMs. I got seven back here and one under the hood. CES 390 uh, large case hairpin all. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Whew. Did you give me demos? I'm going to let it cool down for a little okay, bit, yeah, but I'll start back up in a little bit.
bigger motors, smaller coils. They're two inch coil, right? Two inch coil, yeah. Dual six. Demo? Sit in for a minute? Yep. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get a demo of yours after. What's going on guys? I'm Jake Navarro. I do daily cardio videos. Hope y'all enjoyed today's build. Really nice and clean. A cool stunt wall as well. And great demo with some custom subs that you normally wouldn't see. A different type of brand. As well as a nice cool designed amp rack and battery rack that you got to see for the C-pillar wall. So let them know what you think in the comments as well as give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't. So I do daily cardio videos. Gonna go ahead and do a quick commentary on my build. So today I'm gonna do a shout out. A shout out every day. Today's going to go to Ryan Cloud. He said, hey, Jacob, you might have one of the loudest 415 setups. I doubt that. Um, he said, hey, man, I've been working on my build. Three SoundCube 15s, some 18 inches. He went from American Bass setup to that. And uh, he's trying to work on a, a build with separate chambers within his, uh, his build. It hits loud and low. Whenever you get a chance, man, could you give me a shout out? I love all your videos, Jacob. I'm a true fan and as many videos as I can I watch. Can't say I watch all of them because you got so many, but maybe I'll catch up to your older videos one day. 
Here's your shout out, man. Appreciate you watching Ryan Cloud. I see your subscriber as well as you comment a lot. Thank you. And thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate you guys always watching. If y'all ever have questions, feel free to ask. Cardio World. This is my build behind me. Go ahead and check out my channel if you haven't for the uh, build walk around I did of my build as well. So um, I have one thing I wanted to discuss just to bring up. Um, notice in this build that I had for the Orion system he had today was how the amplifier rack and battery rack was utilized in his C-pillar wall. He lost his back seats. It kind of sucks, but at the same time, he has a stunt wall. But before that, he had it in the back, so everybody uses an amp and battery rack in the back behind the wall the majority of the time. But the way he had it designed and clean, just look at that, so maybe that might give you an idea of how you can set up your battery and amp rack anywhere in your vehicle. The trunk, back seat, behind the wall, etc. Just look at the way the box design was with the amp rack and stunt wall, just to utilize the space and how he used it, so it was really nice. So that's all I got for the day. Appreciate you guys always watching. Stay tuned for a video tomorrow. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.